Okay, so we're asked to find the perimeter of this shape, and to find the perimeter it's just the distance around the shape. So I'm going to start at the top left, and I'm going to just go along here, which is 4.3, so I'm going to write that down, 4.3. Uh, next we need the length here. Now the length here is going to be the same as the 2.4 on the other side. So I'm going to add 2.4. Next we need this length here. Now this length here, um, if we have a look at the 9.8 at the bottom, the total width is 9.8. We've got 4.3 of it used here, 1.2 of it used here. So we've got to find out what's left. So I'm going to do 9.8, take away 4.3, take away 1.2 and it leaves 4.3, so that's going to be 4.3 there. So I'm going to add on the 4.3, then we're going to add on the 2.4, and add on the 1.2 there. Now this distance here is going to be the same as on the other side, which is going to be 5.6. So I'm going to add the 5.6, and then the last two are labelled on the diagram, so we've got 9.8, and then 5.6. So be careful to make sure you have all of the lengths. Um, if they're not shown, then you'll need to work out what they are. So I'm just adding that all up on my calculator. And I get the answer of 35.6. Now the units are going to be centimeters because perimeter is a distance.